Hello everyone and welcome back. Yeah, I know, I know. I said we were going out, but before we do, I would like to just do a little reading for moments of peace for the morning, inspiration, thoughts and prayers to begin your day. You guys know I love to inspire and motivate. And today's reading, it's always marked, remember? The word said improve. Most people would agree that honesty is the best policy, no doubt. Unless it is honest criticism, this is too much of a coincidence. That kind of candor is often difficult to take. There are basically three ways people respond to criticism. One is to find fault with the messenger. I was just talking about this while I was doing this look. Mm -hmm. Another is to internalize it so that destroys our self-esteem. Exactly what I was talking about. You don't know where people are mentally, you see? The third way is to bring the criticism to God and ask Him to reveal the truth in it. This way you allow Him to teach you and reveal blind spots in your character that need work. Today, remember that honesty really is an excellent policy, especially when it is accompanied by God's grace and truth. Yeah, well, not everybody brings stuff to God. We all know that. Dear God, thank you. That honest criticism doesn't have to hurt, but you can truly improve me. Thank you for gently and lovingly teaching me your truth. Amen. Let the words of Christ in all their richness live in your hearts and make you wise. Use his words to teach and counsel each other. Sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. An honest answer is like a kiss on the lips. Proverbs 24, 26. Huh. It's beautiful. But, and it's a shame to say there's a but, but there is. Not everyone can take constructive criticism and not everyone knows how to give it either let me just point that out how about that yeah some people are very honest and blunt and that's a good thing depending depending there is such a thing as being too blunt sometimes and you have to have tact and finesse like when and where and how you know exactly I could go on and on that's why I tell you guys, be careful who you take advice from. Not everyone on here is a therapist, a life coach, or a behavioral specialist. Like I am, no, no. I went to school and I worked really hard to have those titles, you know. Yes, some people come on here and just throw it up in a title and shazam, they're, no, no, it doesn't work that way. You could be doing more harm than good, trust me. You may reach a couple of people, but like I said, you have to have tact and finesse. And knowing what you're talking about works. It really does. It works. And that's the God's honest truth. So that was it for moments of peace of the morning, inspiration, thoughts, and prayers to begin your day. I do hope this helped reach someone or got something out of this. Thank you for watching. May God continue to bless you and your families always. And until the next time, stay blessed, beautiful, and ciao.